Welcome to the long-awaited Rosie 2 Tour. Well, here she is, Rosie Two. Uh, she's a 2010 Volkswagen Crafter, uh, long wheelbase, two liter engine, uh, diesel with a turbo, uh, sitting just over three and a half ton. So Rosie's an ex-rental, and as a result, uh, when you buy them, a lot of things have been done, like uh, cam belt, uh, brake master cylinder, things like that that would, um, would otherwise cost you down the road, have been done for you when you buy them. So because Rosie's an ex-rental, they've made everything nice and accessible from the outside. Uh, things like your storage back here, uh, gas cylinders, toilet cassette, gas shut-off valve, uh, and your power. Um, so nice and simple to get into, easy systems to use. So on the back of Rosie here, we have uh, Fiamma bike rack mounts. Uh, these came from the rental company like this, so we just bought a bike rack to suit. Just hooks on the back, and you're away laughing. So on this side, we've got storage, and we've got the awning. So let's take a look inside. So Rosie is a four berth, uh, meaning she can uh, sleep four people. So four seat belts up the front, uh, two people sleep up above the cab there, and another two can sleep down in the back lounge area here. So Rosie has a 130 litre 12 volt compressor fridge. Uh, the old Rosie had a gas fridge, and this is really nice because we can leave this on while we're traveling. Kitchen here, um, hot and cold water, water filter there and a gas stove here with a grill underneath. Um, the main, one of the main reasons we bought this Rosie is uh, for the storage. So there's just an insane amount of storage up here. So in the back uh, lounge area of Rosie, we have some uh, USB ports, which I uh, installed a few weeks ago. There's a video that I'll link right here for those. And we also have the Laguna table leg, Lagoon, Lagoon table, which is a swivel table leg that replaces the uh, traditional pole pedestal table that used to be in the back. And we've just been finding this super great. You can move it any position you like. You can sit here and edit nicely. And the best thing is you can push it out of the way and you've got all this open space. So up the front of Rosie here, where the seat belts are, where we normally put the car seat, we can actually transform this area into a bit of a lounge. So if we were using the back area of Rosie as a bed, uh, we can actually turn the two front seats around, swivel them around, put a table in the middle here, and um, you've got sort of like a second living space there. Um, at the moment, the swivel seats are mostly just occupied by the dogs. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Um, one thing I didn't cover off was the uh, the house battery solar setup. Um, I'll cover that off in another video as we're in the middle of actually upgrading Rosie's um, leisure batteries, the house batteries. Um, these rentals only come with 110 amp hour batteries, so it's a little bit below our requirements. So stay tuned for that. Um, if you like um, videos of New Zealand and our adventures around New Zealand, then feel free to subscribe to the channel. We've got an awesome trip around East Cape uh, coming up shortly, so we're going there for a couple of weeks. Um, we're going down to the South Island at some stage, so we've got a whole lot of content coming up. So if you like that, subscribe. Um, if you're into this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you've got any questions at all about the, the setup of Rosie, the specs, um, any details like that, just uh, ask them below. Thanks for watching.